Okay, welcome to Gold's Garage. Uh, nice long weekend in May, and I want to first introduce you to my good friend Kevin Parr, and this is his beautiful Chevelle, and we worked on this project together from the beginning, including the installation of this engine. So, I like building engines, that's kind of my hobby, and the nice thing about it, I get to work on these classic, iconic muscle cars from the 60s and 70s, and the cool thing about that is, I worked on exactly the same cars 50, almost 60 years ago, so it's pretty like deja vu for me. And uh, the Chevelle was certainly one of the most iconic, starting in 1964. This is a 1972, and it's getting to the end of its era. I think 75 was the last one. And this is a beauty. It's been completely restored. I'll let Kevin tell you about the paint job, but what I know about it is we redid the engine, and we'll talk about that. Uh, the engine was the subject of a recent video that I did uh, when it was on the dyno. We made 100 foot-pounds of torque and uh, 370 horsepower on the dyno. And this car also has some other ice upgrades. Uh, the ride height has been nicely lowered with aftermarket suspension, uh, disc brakes on the front, uh, 12 volt positive traction rear end in the rear. And it's just a nice daily driver. And I think we built an engine that's going to be really nice for, for cruising for Kevin. So uh, let's take a look at what it looks like under the hood first. Now that we got it together, whoever built this car in the first place shared no expense. It's uh, all chrome and nice and shiny, mm -hmm. and uh, it turned out to be a nice piece. So before we uh, start it up, let's Kevin uh, say a couple words about it. Then. Well, I've only owned this car for a few years. Um, the guy I bought it off of, I think, was the sixth owner. And he did a total restore on this whole car, gave it a nice paint job, and obviously put a really nice engine in it. Uh, when I bought it, um, I never really felt like it had the true power that it should. Uh, so that's why I brought it to Al, and Al did his thing, and we rebuilt this engine. Well, he did it. I watched most of the time. And now it's it's amazing. It uh, it runs beautifully. It has tons of power. I, I can't be happier with it. Um, but as far as I know about the history, there's only been six owners. I believe the original owner uh, lived in Strathroy, like I do. I'm not sure who he is, but uh, I think it was green, so he probably wouldn't even recognize it if he saw me driving by it. But um, but that's about all I know about the history of it. Other than that, the guy did a fantastic job with the paint job, and like I said, he put a lot of money and effort into this engine, and Al made it quite a bit better than uh, than what it was, that's for sure. Okay, let's start it up. We'll hear it run for a second. squeaking a little bit which we will fix uh, everything else seems pretty good so I want to thank you Kevin for uh, for trusting me with your with your classic iconic uh, collector car and for helping me especially putting the engine in because that's not a fun job <laughs> thanks for watching Gold's Scratch just show a little bit more there Are you still So it's a nice, uh, nice, uh, there you go.